it was a top coat in the play. And Peter, because really top coats are back east, we have inclement weather. Out here in Southern California where, you know, the show is set, we don't pretend, we don't pretend it's any other place. It's Southern California, it's Los Angeles. Uh, Falk had a raincoat. I think he said it was bought on 57th Street. It was raining one time in New York City and he ducked into a uh, store and bought a raincoat and it was his raincoat. But of course we duped that raincoat, we had to. I think we had two other raincoats, maybe three. It's like we had two of those uh, Peugeots, that car, the Cabriolet, a uh, French car. Um, I remember when we picked out that car, Dick and I had picked out three cars. There's a whole structure at Universal, there used to be, of all cars going back to the Duesenbergs in the 20s, all that are functional in this building on every floor. It's incredible, you go through there, you see stuff, it's amazing. It's this, you know, connoisseur's collection of automobiles. And I showed Falk the three cars, nah, nah, it's no good, that's no good. He spots this Peugeot. And I said, Peter, why would a down-to-earth, blue-collar, L.A. homicide cop be driving an exotic thing like that. Trust me, it'll be terrific. Well, he was the 800-pound gorilla, and it wasn't that important. And of course, the car got famous. Uh, when, we, when I brought the show back, we had, we had to get those cars. One was in, I think, Florida, and one was in San Diego. And we took the one from uh, San Diego. So that was in the original the original car. I think it's now being used still. Falk was a chain smoker, cigarettes. Didn't like cigars particularly. Uh, they loved the prop. The end of the first season, because Dick and I, on screen, were anti-smoking. Dick, in real life, was not, and they eventually killed him way before his time. Um, Falk liked it as a prop. At the end of the first season, the last show, he throws it away and stomps it out. He's not going to smoke anymore. Second season, he insisted it was such a good prop. He wanted it. But if you watch the shows, you know, Peter doesn't match. He gets so involved and into it, even though he's a consummate actor. So it's like a magic show. From the cuts, it's here, here it is. It's like David Copperfield is involved here. Um, but what are you going to do? He wanted the damn cigars, he's got the cigars. That one suit, um, the raincoat, that was Peter. He added that, the sloppiness of the character. And that comes strictly from Peter. We didn't see the, we didn't see the cop like that. We saw him, he's you know, a neat guy, didn't care about his clothes, but you know, his stuff is well pressed and uh, you know, his wife takes care of that, but no, didn't turn out that way.